you know, it kind of ties in with what we just read with the book review of Machete Season, how people were just doing, some of them didn't believe in what they were doing, they did it anyways, wrong answer. Um, and it even resulted in the death of the one guy, you know, you talk about, or that, that's in the book. But, you know, so first of all, as you, as you stated in the question itself, if you don't agree with some mission that you've been given, then you have to ask the question why. And in the book, Extreme Ownership, we talk about that. The primary example is we talk about is working with Iraqi soldiers and how that's very challenging and very difficult and very dangerous. And the story that we tell in the book is that I, I said to myself, okay, why are they having us work with these Iraqi soldiers? My guys are going to be at risk, et cetera, et cetera. And eventually I realized why we needed to do this was because if we didn't get the Iraqi soldiers to a point where they could handle the security in Iraq, then who was going to do it? And the answer was us. So I understood why. Now, I actually didn't even have to ask anybody why. I figured that out. I asked myself why. And so I was able to come to it, come to that conclusion. But when you are part of something, whether it's in business or it's in war, the the goal, the ultimate goal, it has to be aligned. And in it, so, for example, we're in Iraq. We're supposed to use Iraqi soldiers. Okay, do you think that the generals wanted our men to be killed because of the the higher risk? No, they wanted to win the war. They want to keep our guys safe. So that's what I wanted too. We want to win the war. We want to keep our guys safe. So that's aligned. So anything that they're telling me to do, it must be at some point in the distance aligned with the same goal that I have. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with a business. Do you think a boss of a business doesn't want to be profitable or yeah. doesn't want to be ethical? No. Somewhere in the future, they want to be profitable and they want to be eth ethical. And somewhere your mission is going to align with that. If you don't, if those don't align at some point, then you got a real serious issue on your hands, right? Because Maybe you're being told to do something that you just don't believe in. And you at first, you know, like I said, you got to ask those questions all the way up. And if you do ask those questions all the way up and you still find, okay, I don't believe in this mission. Now you got to weigh out the consequences. Mm. Because, for instance, if there's an order that comes and for whatever reason you don't believe in it and you've asked the questions and you still don't believe that it's the right thing to do, but what if it's something that's like pretty inconsequential, right? Something that's no big deal and you say no to it. Like, I'm not going to do this. You decide to make your stand. Mm. Okay, well now you're, you're, first of all, you're not supporting the chain of command anymore. And if you're not supporting your chain of command anymore, how can you support the guys that work for you? Mm. Because now, now you might get removed. And if you get removed from the situation, now who's going to go execute it? Who's going to go do this thing that you thought was wrong? Now you're going to give it to somebody that might execute it in a harsher way, in a worse way, or... or you lose control of it. You've lost your influence. You've used up some of your political capital. You've impaired your reputation by saying, no, I'm not going to do that because I don't believe in it. Well, what was it? And by saying no, what did you accomplish? Because now you have no control over it anymore. You're, you're, you can't change it. You can't affect it anymore. So let me ask you this. This is an example. This will make it very clear what I'm trying to say because I don't think I'm being very clear right now. If you're playing a game, right? You're playing a football game or a basketball game and the ref makes a bad call. Okay, so you say, the ref made a bad call. I don't agree with this call. I quit. I'm walking off the court. Now, does that make sense? I mean, how bad of a call was it? How did it affect the game? And, and furthermore, once you walk off the court, what good are you? Mm. Can you, can you do better? Can you try and bring back the score? Can you try and show the ref that, yes, you are playing fair. Look, I'm a good guy. I'm keeping my head. I'm keeping my cool. No, you've thrown that all away. You've thrown that all away. And so what good is that? It's the same thing. Not necessarily the ref, because that's sort of outside your chain of command. But what if your own coach, what if your coach pulls you out of a game? Mm. Or a coach calls a play to you, for you to run a play that you didn't believe in. So you're going to say, you know what? I don't believe in that play. I'm walking off the field. Man. That's an exact correlation to this idea, right? This mm -hmm. 
military order comes down that I don't believe in. Oh, I don't believe in it, so now I'm going to walk away. Right. So that is is problematic because you've you've given up, you've surrendered your right to affect the situation. And that's that's not good. And in the military, there's all kinds of little, you know, policy nuances that we might not believe in 100%. Little, little things. There might be little things that you go, you know what, I don't, I, don't, I don't see, I don't think that's the best way to do it, or I think there's a better way to do it. But if you walk away from it, now you can no longer affect it. And that is bad. So my, generally speaking, mm. for most of these things, you, I, I, dealt, I dealt with in the military all the time. Dealt with it all the time. And you know what? Generally speaking, you stay in the game right. so that you can still have an effect. You can still have influence. Now, that being said, there can be orders that are unlawful or unethical that can happen, right? Mm -hmm. If you are in a bad situation, you're working for a bad commander, you're working for someone that's unethical or whatever the case may be, it may be their orders or plans that are tactically unsound to the point that you're afraid people are going to die. Mm -hmm. And and in those situations, you know, as we were going back to Napoleon's maxim again, if you right. execute something that you knew was wrong, you're culpable. So then it is time when you stand up and say, you know what? I'm not doing this. Mm -hmm. You want to send me to Leavenworth? You want to demote me? Demote me. Do it. But I do not believe in this, and here's why. So that is a time where you may have to say after you weigh out the situation how bad is it something that's unethical unconstitutional and you think you're going to have a bigger impact by protesting it mm. by possibly jeopardizing your career or possibly going to going to Leavenworth if you're in the military mm. getting court martialed all those things could happen if you think that it's so important and that you will have a better effect on it by making this protest. Because that's what you're doing. You're now making a protest. When I was in the military, I went to this school. It was all about projects. They give you a wheelbarrow with five people. But the wheelbarrow had no wheel. They give you big ass cinder blocks. Two by fours. And you had to get all that shit from point A to point B. at one carry. They want you to get creative. When I was born, I was born with all kind of heart issues, lung issues, bone issues. So I had to get creative. I didn't have a lot to work with. A lot of you use that as a fucking excuse. You don't have a lot to work with. So you want to die all preserved. Make sure you die being used up. Find out what you have and get maximum potential out of that motherfucker. Stay hard.